The island is still in shock after the passing of Mr. Tony Thompson. Tony will always be remembered as the coach who helped grow the sport on island. For some players, Thompson was more than just a mentor of the game. It just blew up all over the basketball chats, and it really shocked a lot of us. And um, man, it just it, it hit us all really hard. Um, he, he was like a father figure to a lot of us, and I mean, just a great heart, a great guy, and it's it's tragic. He was a member of the FIBA Working Group National Federation Support and Development Group, receiving the. Patricia Ramsey Award for Commitment to Service in 2016. Mr. Thompson was on the Guam National Olympic Committee and a big influencer of bringing three-on-three -three basketball to Guam, opening the doors to international competition. Tony was uh, very influential. He brought basketball uh, to the next level um, from all aspects, you know, uh, being uh, represented from the FIBA, uh, the president of the Guam Basketball Confederation. FIBA Oceana President Burton Shipley said Tony is best known in the world of basketball as coach of the Guam teams at many Oceana championships. He then transitioned to mentoring the next generation of Guam coaches, always looking to provide others around him with the opportunity and support to reach their potential. For those that are old enough to remember, Mr. T was also pretty nice on the court too. He was a hard worker. He did the things that we asked him to do, most especially rebound. And Tony he never backed down, you know, of, of everything he, um, even everything he did after basketball, whether it be coaching, whether it be the principal of um, FD. He was a really good man, good family man. The FD Phoenix Center opened the doors to competition during the 2006-2007 season, and Mr. Thompson was a big part of getting the gym started. He also pushed for the National Basketball Training Center to open in 2017. It was a dream of his to have a place that Guam basketball can call home and for a facility to help develop community programs. FIBA president Heraklo Murator says in an email, all of us will forever remember Tony for his deep commitment and dedication to the promotion and development of our sport and he will be greatly missed. He was a great influence here at Twinning Gym. Uh, when I first started my program, one of the things that was really magical for the kids was when he brought over a professional shooting coach named Eddie Kellick. So from there on, he really inspired myself with GuamBasketball.com and the Twinning Typhoons Basketball Club to work hard and work with the kids because it was all about the kids. Switching over to some football news, props to the seven high school football players who will be taking their talents to the next level. A signing ceremony was held at the Chicharica Ballroom at the Hilton this past weekend. FD's Kai Akamoto will be attending McAllister College in Minnesota as a running back. JFK's Christopher Parker will be heading to North Park University in Chicago as an offensive and defensive lineman. JFK player Evan Beharana will also be going to North Park as a defensive back. FD standout Xavier Napati commits to North Park as well. He will be playing wide receiver and special teams. Guam High's Will Sanders will be attending Moore Park College in California as a wide receiver. FD running back DeAndre Cruz heads to Cali as a running back for San Jose State. And Teason High's Andrew Bloss will also be attending North Park University as a wide receiver.